Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you're here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. Co-creation at its best. You're knowing what you're wanting, sort of. You like desire. We like it when you identify your desire and you're consciously aware of what it is. So the trick, it's not a trick, it's a skill. The skill is to have desire that you're not trampling with doubt. To have desire that you believe, that's just the best. A desire you don't believe, not so pleasant, is it? So it seems logical, well, I will just get rid of the desire. Not so much. Because once life has caused you to identify a desire, that's a strong momentum. And it really is, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it, the path of least resistance to line up with the desire rather than to rail against it. What we want to encourage in these hours that we are together is an understanding of how you be in this universe. We want you to remember that you are source energy, mostly. Even though you're in this physical body, the non-physical part of you is still dominant. And as you are in this physical body, with source flowing to you and through you, you are continuing the eternal life that you are all about. So even when you don't know it, even when you feel bad, even when it feels like things aren't going well, source energy is flowing to you in the only way it can be described is an unconditional love. No matter what, this source energy, the same energy that creates worlds flowing to you. But how you allow yourself to be in that energy. It's like a permeation of environment all around you of well-being and appreciation. But if for whatever reason you've decided to be mad at yourself or someone else, then you're not allowing, hear this, we've never said this to you before. You are not allowing in your moments of negative emotion, the unconditional love to be reached by you. Because of the conditions that you are placing. Ah! Can you hear that? Only you can block the unconditional love with the conditions that you place. These are my conditions. I don't like that person very much. Or that didn't go well for me. Or I lived something that was unpleasant. Or somebody in politics is doing something that I deem inappropriate. So as you place conditions on your love, all that happens is you prevent yourself from receiving the always flowing, ever surrounding, always, if you will allow it, penetrating love, clarity, abundance of well-being that is flowing to you at all times. So this gathering, we've called it a lot of different things. The science of deliberate creation, because we wanted you to be deliberate about what you were thinking. The art of allowing, because we wanted you to figure out how to be in that soft place of allowing this energy to flow. And these days, what we're really wanting to put emphasis on is you walking around all day in this body, offering a vibration which equals your point of attraction. So you are establishing a vibrational environment, a vibrational climate. It's like how the scientists prepare the Petri dish so that they will be able to introduce something to it and grow in it just what they want to. You sort of kind of get that. You've got your own environmental vibrational thing going on. And what that amounts to is the degree to which you allow or don't allow the good stuff that source is flowing to you. That's it. So if you can get that, that when your kids misbehave and you shout at them because they deserve it, by your opinion and most of the books you've read, then what's happening to you in that moment is 
you are reacting to their behavior not to your practiced environment source never does that to you source never responds to your behavior that's why sources love is unconditional ah but when you respond to someone's behavior or to a circumstance or an event rather than to the practiced climate that you've established that's when life gets kind of confusing because that happens and you respond to it and when you respond to it it affects your climate and when it affects your climate it affects your point of attraction so other things like it come to you and then you start believing that this is just the way it is because it shows itself to you that way over and over and over again so why wouldn't you believe it that's the way it is they would consider you to be in denial fabricating things making things up and we say yeah do that tell it the way you want it to be practice the environment create your vibrational reality create your vibrational climate and then watch what comes Esther remembers watching Groundhog Day the first time her father's birthday is on Groundhog Day so Groundhog Day has always been fun in their family then the movie Groundhog Day came out have you seen it if you're alive on this planet you have <laughs> where every day starts over again and the guy just got better and better at navigating through the day as he remembered what happened yesterday and adjusted to it and that's in a very bulky sense what we're encouraging you to understand about your vibrational climate you've created the climate whether you know that you have or not and everything that's coming to you is coming in response to your vibration because that's the way this universe runs law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn and there's no law other than that law that is affecting your experience you get what you are thinking about whether you want it or not that's just the way it is so what you've practiced to be your vibrational countenance relative to money relative to relationships relative to home or business or life relative to every subject in the world what you've practiced yourself into thought about equals your vibrational environment and then the universe the world the people around you the circumstances and events they can only show you what you've created so everything that comes to you isn't about what anybody else is doing it's about what you've got going on vibrationally and of course we acknowledge what you've got going on vibrationally is a lot about what you're observing out there because you're often letting what you're observing out there affect what you're doing here but you don't have to there's this momentum thing that happens though once it gets going it's just easier to let it go that way because it's difficult to turn it around so we want to talk about momentum we want to talk about deciding how you want to feel we want to show you how to get this vibrational climate around yourself in an attitude that you'll like what flows into it because when you're in this vibrational place that is in sync with who you really are your emotions raise from pure satisfaction to true passion and enthusiasm for life you feel clear and sure and interested in life you feel fun your timing is good you feel vitality everything about your world feels good to you once you deliberately prepare your vibrational environment to be the receiver of the things that it must receive because law of attraction will not give to you something that you have not practiced we always like to put this analogy in early in our conversations with you sometimes it is as if you are saying to us Abraham I've jumped out of an airplane and I don't have a parachute would you please advise me as what to do now and we always say hang on it will be over in a little while <laughs> because there is a momentum at that stage that there is not likely an action that you're going to find that is going to dramatically change the outcome because you waited too long before you addressed it you let the momentum get going too far well no big deal the momentum will peter out and when you sleep tonight the momentum will stop altogether and in the morning when you awaken you have the option of beginning your momentum in a way that creates a vibrational atmosphere that you will like what comes to it so since we've been talking like this Esther has been thinking a lot about 
creating her vibrational atmosphere and she's saying to herself often and it will serve you well too I want to respond to what's happening out there in the world or happening to me happening anywhere that I'm involved with it or observing it I want to respond from this practiced place of alignment not from this reactionary place and really that's what the art of allowing is all about it's deciding how you want to feel it's understanding that you are extensions of source it's understanding the way source always bees with you in fact do you know that the only reason that you can even feel what you would call negative emotion whether you call it fear or rage or embarrassment or anger every negative emotion that you feel is only possible because you are feeling a way that the source within you does not feel about the same subject in other words you're setting up a frequency that's different from the frequency of source so really what negative emotion is here's the clearest way that we can ever explain it to you here you are standing in your world in your body in your beingness and source is surrounding you with well-being and when you let yourself be the receiver of that well-being of that clarity of that love of that appreciation of that abundance then you feel great but when you start thinking thoughts that prevent it from coming that's what negative emotion is it's your resistance to the natural well-being to the unconditional love to the unconditional prosperity to the unconditional clarity that is flowing your way all day every day if you will figure out some way to let it in so that's what we want to help you do figure out ways to let it in understands the specific and intimate details of your desire who is inspiring you to a path of least resistance not just for the outcome that you think you want but for the pleasure of the unfolding along the way and then you're gonna start making these associations and then something's gonna shift for you it's gonna be like a fulcrum shift it's gonna be like a paradigm shift and if it hasn't already happened for you which in many cases in this room it has it's about to and it will feel like this the details of your life will cause you to feel worthy because suddenly you'll be reacting to the core of what is good rather than to the anomaly that feels bad can you feel that shift we applaud you for your ability to listen with us because we said a lot of the same things over and over again and yet we said things to you all day long here today that no one on this planet has ever understood as clearly as you just did you are out here on the leading edge of thought and it's not the big deal all of you are making it out to be when you set aside proving any worthiness that takes away a lot of responsibility and you might as well give it up because there's nobody standing in council for that so no matter how hard you try to show your worthiness you're not getting any brownie points with anybody because there's not that kind of thing going on when you are trying to explain yourself when you're trying to explain how you got into this place that you really don't want to be you're practicing the wrong vibrational dynamic and you're just going to get more of that till after a while now that you've heard this conversation you will grow weary of that repetition and it is our expectation that you will begin to focus in the moment where all of your power is more deliberately upon things that you can do something about we would encourage you as soon as you can get off to yourself and get a piece of paper and something to write with in your hand that you would begin identifying for yourself what things you really like to do what feels good when you do it and what feels good when you think about it and let that be the thing that you focus upon for as long as it takes for the universe to deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that because it is our promise to you if you will take the time to make that list the universe will deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that list and through that experience not through the words that we've been offering here today but through the universal response to your focused understanding you will prove to yourself that you are the creator of your own reality and that life is supposed to be good for you not as supposed to be while it isn't supposed to be and is there is great love here for you and as always we stand unconditionally and eternally in the vortex Thank you.